Don't miss the pre-order for the Ninja Scroll Jubei original anime figure from the Foosh Toys. Link in the description below. What's up guys, welcome back. Get rid of the wall. Today on the channel I want to take a look at the Foosh Articulated Icons Feudal Series Ninja. This is a toy line made by people from the toy community. The Foosh, of course they have been a fixture for many many years. Talking toys, reviewing toys, Ooh. on YouTube, Twitch, and always on their own website. They are taking pre-orders for the Ninja Scroll Jubei figure. An original figure they've created, working with the original animators Madhouse. In light of that, I thought it would be proper to take another look at these guys, so you can see what they're working with. Let's go! All the figures come in this sexy, collector-friendly packaging. Got a big window on front, little background there. Some horrible stuff about Ninja on the side. Pictures there. Uh, all the figures that it released in the original Kickstarter. My friend Sean from the comic store actually told me about this a few years ago. And I was able to get in on the sucker. Credits on the bottom here. Gotta love these guys. Anyway, we're gonna check out the black, the red, the deluxe black, as well as the arms, hands, and wraps pack, and the rooftop display bases. Visually, I think these things really hit the mark. They are ninja, of course, from the feudal era, sculpted with an eye towards historical accuracy. They all come with accessories that are a bit modular for different display options. Think similar to Mythic Legions. The sculpt and extra paint detail are really nice to see. Again, these are created by guys who know their action figures. They spend their days touching, tasting, and reviewing action figures. Writing about action figures, shooting videos about action figures. Getting closer to the folds on our friend here. You can see there is this nice lighter dry brush over the top. And you get the opposite on the Red Ninja. With a little bit of a dark wash in the crevices. To really sort of bring the thing to life. There are slight differences among the heads. The black has orange eyes. It's kind of harder to notice at a distance. But the red have green. And the deluxe black ninja features regular people eyes. They each feature the same couple of heads, including this more sleek modern design, as well as the more traditional that we saw. And then they all have a cowl that you could have down or up. The only other visual difference is the length of the belt here at the waist on your deluxe ninja. He's going to stick out because he's got this longer belt, which is a really soft material. And a couple of my reds are from the update, so you get this more modern looking harness system. And these are all interchangeable. Finally, from a visual standpoint, the deluxe also features a person head. We'll check out the rest of the extras he comes with when we get to the accessories. Don't forget they have peg holes on the bottoms of the feet. Sick! Created by actual action figure collectors, articulated is not just in the name. So you've got a head on a ball on a hinge. Come back this far, we'll look down this far, get a little bit of tilt on that sucker, and of course it will rotate all the way around. Shoulders are socketed in here, and they'll come a little, they'll come just past a 90, and they'll rotate all the way around in there. You get a bicep cut nicely hidden in the folds here, so that'll rotate. Double jointed elbow. We'll come up that far. You come out here to the wrist, and it's got a ball hinge, so you can decide which way you're going to go with the thing. But it's just on this tiny little ball. These will come off of here easy. But that's that's the case with some other big companies, too. Whoops. Whoops. You get the idea. You get a diaphragm cut here at the torso that'll rotate all the way around, and it'll rock down a bit, back a bit, and, you know, not a little bit, a little bit side to side. Otherwise, you get a waist twist. Thighs are socketed onto these balls and will come all the way out to the sides. They will rotate all the way forward, even a little past. And they come back a good bit if you kick them off to the side a little bit. Cut here at the upper thigh. That'll rotate all the way around. Double jointed knees. And those will fold up pretty nicely. And then you get a calf cut here at these wraps. That'll rotate all the way around. Ankle coming back, forward, and it rocks side to side. Sometimes you would just rotate that sucker, twist that, give that a twist, give that a twist. The only sort of modern amenity it's missing is uh, butterfly shoulders. Even still, they can put two hands on a sword. Oh, toe cuts would be sick. Sick! Otherwise, though, these are some nice ninja. Sneaking and kicking and stabbing just like their namesake. Checking out the accessories, each basic yep. ninja comes with two heads, the classic and the more modern, with two versions for your cowl there, down or up. Comes with a soft belt for the scabbards that is removable or swappable with the harness that came with the later releases. They each have three sets of hands, open, closed fists, and knife hands. 
For weapons, they each get a little kunai. Throwing knife. Nicely detailed. A little extra paint there. And they each come with a pair of swords. The slight curvature, traditionally rocked by samurai. There is some really great sculpted detail here. This main sword is a little big, making me think maybe it's dai katana instead of, and this one would be a regular katana. But traditionally, samurai setup, you would have a katana and like a wakizashi, a, a shorter sword there. Maybe it's just it's just a scaling thing, and that's not what they intended. Either way, they look they look great. They've got several colors of paint on there, and a metallic finish for the blade. How nice! So these scabbards here, also. You can pull them right out of this clip and you can flip them around so you can have the clip in a different position if you're left-handed, right-handed. Also, you can plug that clip into the back or down here at the waist into the belt. For the Deluxe Ninja, Yay. released in black and in white, he comes with an extra set of splayed hands displayed here by my hand models, as well as a freaking arsenal of weapons including the Naginata, staff, bow with arrow, and a quiver for the back here. And you also get this little sigh. And a kunai with some extra dirty paint wash. And this sweet sickle here. Little secret, I like these little these little clear bands. Because I can you can put them on as belts and stuff everything in here. But these are really nicely detailed. You can see this little wrap going over the blade. You can see this arrow too, the ends are painted. Not a ton of detail on the bow, but it does have an extra color of paint. Mr. Deluxe also features this soft, squishy mask. You can pull that sucker off, revealing this head. The little top knot also pops out of there so that you could properly put a hood on this sucker and you can put this mask on any anyone you want. Hang this up in a display, haunt your Wolverine and Kitty figures. The quiver is just all basic black, but why wouldn't you want those black? We ported the sword here into the center. You can see the little sickle. And they've all got little loops on the ends here too, so you could run a little thread through there if you wanted to. Nice darker wash over the metallic. And again, his kunai has a little extra paint. Of course, all this stuff is swappable between all of them. Also, if we look at the sleeves, you can see on red here, it no longer comes over the wrist. Presumably to help with the hand popping off anytime it would run into that pointy area. Oh, and three style of shuriken, how could I forget? Look at that, just... One little metallic color. But you get three of those. Watch out for this preposterously tiny one. Let's all be amazed I've hung on to this for so long. There is also oh. an accessory set. The Sexy Arms, Hands, and Wraps Pack. That features a set of bare arms like so here. A couple of leather bracers. And a couple of bandage style wraps. And these are just a nice soft rubber. You can put these right over the wrist here and these pop right out of there no issue show you the stuff in real time yeah look at that you stick that sucker on and you could have it on the red ninja as well speaking of this set comes with three additional sets of hands you get these relaxed hands these tight technique hands here and another set of splayed open hands like the deluxe comes with thank you hand models your services are no longer and, 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 I know, it never ends. Modular rooftop display pieces. These are freaking kicking. Okay. You would buy one in a... They come individually packaged. That's how I would like to... Anyway, nice solid plastic here. Hollow on the inside, but you can see the thickness of this sucker. Eighth inch or so. And it's got little mounts all over it for sticking on a wall proper. Really, really nice detail in it too. All of this sculpted, just weathering and wear with a darker wash here dripped into the cracks and there's little peg holes all over it for support, of course. Check this out, you get little side pegs so that you can lock these suckers together. Many as you want. Expand your world a little, bud. Look at that. These are super cool. The Fwoosh Articulated Icons Feudal Series Ninja stand right about six inches tall. That hood raises it up just a little bit, but you can see there, the red guy, he's just over 150 centimeters. Making these a little closer to a true 112 scale. Kicking off the comparisons, it's going to be mostly Marvel figures, as I love a good ninja, and that's primarily why I went with the black. 
A lot of us could also use these as stand-ins for Hand Ninja from Marvel Comics. In said comics, they've appeared black, gray, red. As far as these just being men and these being superheroes, it works out pretty well. But they're just, they're a touch petite, I suppose, next to the legends that have suffered size creep for years. But like I said, they still, they, they, they work great. Moving on. Moving on. To show off said scale in even sharper relief, here are two versions of the same character. Close either way, but I think one suits it better than the other. How about another Wolverine? The Mezco Deluxe and the Jada Toys Ryu. Super 7 Raphael and Mythic Legion's Pelvicus. From NECA Toys, because the turtles are never out of season, it's the Mirage Comics Leonardo and the IDW Last Ronin. Some more NECA stuff. While these are generally in a larger scale, they, they do struggle in that way. The Shredder almost looks like it works. Fella from the movie here, not so much. The McFarlane stuff is definitely too big. Batman and Spawn. Import figures are definitely hitting closer to that mark, though. The Mafex Psylocke and Gambit. You know you want to see that red one real quick. And from another Japanese company, it is the SH Figure Arts Hulk and Crazy Crotch Spider-Man. I just love how shiny this guy looks. How could you pass that up? Don't look too don't look too closely at the crotch. It's like, hey guys, Mafex stuff moves about as well, and it doesn't take all of that. Whatever, do you? Finally, it is the Hasbro Hand Ninja and the Marvel Legends Morning Coffee, mostly Bucky Cap Deadpool. One more time in red. While he's maybe a hair small here, I think the Marvel Legends one is a touch big. Pick your pleasure. Oh. End of the day, these things are awesome. If you've got some, you already know. If you don't, you can still catch these on the secondary for pretty decent prices, depending on which figures. And if we want these guys to continue to flourish, we have to pop up once in a while, take a look around, and see what our friends and fellow collectors are doing in this toy game. The articulated icons are just that. Very well articulated. They can rock all kinds of killer ninja poses. They've got everything except butterfly shoulders and toe cuts. But the range puts a lot of the big company stuff to shame. The accessories are pretty meticulously sculpted and detailed out really nicely. Stuff is hit with extra paint here and there. And I love how it's built to be modular. I think I had heard before that they had like an initial run and they struggled getting the hands and heads off and they had to send them back and be like, no, you need to make these out of a different plastic so we can rock them like this. They're like, huh? You do what with what? Yaman. Similar to Mythic Legions, but with like a feudal Japanese vibe. So these guys do have some other stuff in the works. Those skeleton figures are finally shipping. They've got some red demon ninja thing they kicked off with a new red arms, hands, and wraps pack. And don't forget about that Jubei. They tease the Kagero figure. I think Jubei looks spot on as an old school fan who had a friend, no kidding, introduce him to this stuff with videotapes back in the 90s. Knowing what this company, what these guys are capable of, and seeing what they've got on the horizon, it makes me excited. I know the price might seem a touch high, but it's not like they've got some big box store helping foot the tooling costs. If we want nice things and we want to support our friends, sometimes we got to pay a little extra. we got to put our money where our mouth is, and these lips, they always be flapping, right? If you want more of this, I'm right here. And if you don't know who the Foosh is, man, what what are you what are you even doing? Check those guys out. Their stuff their stuff is way better. Yosh.